Here's a radio that you don't see too often. This is the Cobra 135 sideband radio. It is the 23 channel model. And uh, to me that seems a bit odd because uh, being just a 23 channel radio, considering all uh, that goes on on the radios since the 70s and onward, I guess, uh, you would think that sideband would be only designated for uh, channels, uh, you know, certainly above uh, 23 anyway. Um, Anyway, we have um, the flip clock feature here on this 22 channel, fully functional. Uh, I, I kind of wish that I had uh, the 40 channel, to be honest with you. Uh, but um, anyway, this is the one that was available in the barter. Uh, there was no 40 channel. So uh, I'm glad to have this kind of uh, uh, radio uh, with the flip top because I, I don't have anything in my collection that has this flip top. Uh, technology, uh, flip clock technology, excuse me. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's uh, great to have, and I guess it's a, it's a good piece of uh, radio collection, a good piece of CB radio history. It's not in bad shape. Um, everything is fully functional, and uh, it is uh, a neat uh, looking radio, and it, of course it carried on in, in in the same style as they went on to the uh, Cobra uh, 142, I guess, and uh, and the Cobra 2000. It basically looks like a miniature, uh, a scaled down model of a Cobra 2000, or, or especially a Cobra 142, anyway. So uh, it comes with the original mic, and uh, let's let's have another. Uh, close look here before we look at the back. It's uh, I don't think my camera's focusing all the best this morning, so but just just bear with me. Just giving you an, uh, uh, a decent look at the uh, the condition of the radio. I haven't cleaned this or anything. Just uh, knock the dust off. I see some paint speckles there that need to be cleaned off someday in the future. It's a, kind of a neat um, meter. Um, SWR on top, uh, S units in the middle, calibration there on the top side, on the top scale, and then RF on the bottom. And the clock, all the lights seem to be working, and the clock seems to be working. I'm sure if there's a little bit of condensation where I had it out in the shed. No, it's just the, uh, the glare of the light. Okay, let's have a look at the, the back side. Okay, here's the the back side of the uh, Cobra 135. This is the uh, the nameplate here, Cobra 135, Citizens Band, two-way radio, and the serial number. There you go. I'm I'm guessing now. I could be totally wrong. It's either uh, 64 stands for 1964, or perhaps this zero indicates maybe 1970. Not exactly sure how to read uh, this, but uh, there it is. So 239 there. Even have it labeled. Wow. Um, some uh, inputs and outputs there. PA and external. And uh, model. Type number 135A. Oh, that's interesting. It just says 135 on the front. Of course, the 1 amp fuse and uh, the common uh, power, uh, power supply plug and cord uh, for that day. I can have a little look inside here. Um, it looks to be in uh, original shape. I'm thinking that wire tie, that plastic wire tie of sorts, is original. Pretty sure. <clears throat> and there's your lamp uh, meter light and the uh, that's the clock mechanism back there I believe difficult to see yeah it is <clears throat> let's have a look at the uh, power output on the AM and sideband okay we have the, uh, the radio on uh, 23 on AM here. I'm just checking all the settings here. Uh, the RF is 
turned down. Sorry, that's, uh, that's the SWR switch uh, adjustment, I should say. Squelch, uh, RF gain is up, and uh, yeah, everything looks like it's ready to go, just a volume turn now. So, uh, SWR and uh, here, and uh, we're set at a 10 watt scale here, and modulation, of course. And I think we're ready to, to do a test here on channel 23 AM. Hello, uh, audio. Uh, audio. So we have four watts on AM, and uh, uh, it doesn't look like much forward swing, but uh, modulation seems to be okay. Let's try upper sideband on channel 23. Hello. Uh, looks like about seven watts maybe on upper sideband. Lower sideband. Hello, ah, just barely making seven watts on on uh, lower sideband. Very interesting, um, uh, to say the least. Uh, uh, typically, I guess these radios should have been doing about four watts AM and uh, twelve watts, so you're probably three point five and maybe ten watts on sideband. Okay, um, just a question for some of you viewers, if you stuck around till the end of the video here. Um, I, I've often seen on uh, 22 channel radios that there's, uh, they go from one, of course, it goes right up, you know, three, four, five, right up through. And it gets to uh, 22, you see here. 21, 22. Now, then there's a blank. Then there's 23. And then it rolls back to one. That's typically how they usually go. Now, some I've seen goes from one to twenty-three. And there's a blank. Uh, just a question for all of you out there that uh, I never Google this. I'm just asking you. Maybe you could chime in and let me know. Why is this blank? Why would they leave a blank space between twenty-two and twenty-three on this radio? Is it because you could put a crystal in and probably get one? Uh, possibly one private channel or maybe pick your own channel I'm not sure but if you could get back to me on that uh, that would be cool I appreciate that very much anyway here is the Cobra 135 in all its glory uh, certainly wish I could find the uh, the 40 channel um, version of this radio for a collection maybe one day I may stumble across it as I continue to collect so uh, thanks for sticking around and for watching and you have a wonderful day